We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. It is a good day. We gotta sing and dance. We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. We gotta have an amazing time. We gotta wave our voices loud. We gotta clap, we gotta snap, we gotta wave our hands and praise our Lord today. We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. Welcome to Renew. Church and Oasis of Cat. Good morning, kids. Taking your breakfast already? Me too. I'm all pumped up. How about you? Wonderful. Before we get into today's expectation, let's praise and worship. Let it shine. 
will stomp my feet I will clap my hands and shout Shout I will run around I will jump off the ground and shout Shout I will stomp my feet I will clap my hands and shout Shout I will run around I'll jump on the ground and shout, shout. This is out of mind. I'm gonna let it shine. This is out of mind. I'm gonna let it shine. This is out of mind. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus is the light.
We are now ready for our great expedition. Today, you and me is going to learn about another hero from the Bible. Who will that be? And where will it be? Come on! This hero is super smart, honest and trustworthy. He has served many kings and is always the king's favourite. He loved God and always put God first in everything. And he is super brave. Because of his bravery, he was thrown into the den full of lions. <gasps> like seriously, full of lions. Have you been to a zoo before? Do you like going to the zoo? I like going to the zoo, especially to see all the animals. The elephant, the hippopotamus, the giraffe, the penguins. But there's one which is my favourite. Want to take a guess which animal will that be? Yes, it's the lion, king of the jungle. I like seeing how the lion roar. I definitely cannot imagine myself being up close to a lion super scary. I wouldn't be able to even move an inch. But this hero was in the lion den the entire night. And did I tell you those lions were super hungry? Whoa, what happened to him? Let's check out who this hero is. This is Daniel and he is one of God's people. Daniel loved God very much and he prayed to God three times a day. Daniel was wise and King Darius liked Daniel very much. King Darius even planned to make Daniel the leader of the whole kingdom. This made some of the leaders very jealous of Daniel. They tried very hard to fight something that Daniel might have done wrong, but they couldn't find anything against him. So they planned to get Daniel in trouble for following God. They went to King Darius and said, Your Majesty, we think you should make a rule that everyone must pray only to you. Whoever disobeys this rule will be thrown into a lion's death. King Darius agreed. The next day, Daniel opened his window, just like he always did, and Daniel prayed to God. Daniel's enemies were already waiting outside of Daniel's house. Once they saw Daniel praying to God, they ran to inform the king. King Darius realized that he's been tricked. He was sad that he did not want Daniel to be hurt, but couldn't change the law and had to follow it. Daniel was thrown into the den full of hungry lions. The king said to Daniel, May the God you faithfully serve rescue you. Then they closed the lion's den with a stone. The next morning, the king got to the den and he called, Daniel, Daniel. He waited and listened. Suddenly, he heard Daniel's voice. Your majesty, I am safe. God protected me and shut the lion's mouth. Daniel said, When they closed the lion's den, God had sent an angel to shut all the lion's mouths. Daniel spent the night there safe. The king was so glad that Daniel was not hurt and got him out of the lion's den. Then King Darius commanded that Daniel's enemies be thrown into the den instead. The lions then gobbled them up. King Darius knew that God had helped Daniel and kept him safe. He told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful and living God. The hero is Daniel. Daniel was humble, hardworking, and obedient man of God. God honored and blessed him and made him a great leader. There was something that Daniel did that gave him strength every single day to be hardworking and obedient to God. He did it three times a day. What did he do? He prayed. What is prayer? Prayer is actually talking to God. It's like how you talk to your daddy. Or how you talk to your friends or your siblings. Daddy, you know that this is just a word. Well, I like to say 
He's your best friend. You can tell your best friend all your secrets and share everything with him. If anything happens, you want to tell him first. That was what Daniel did. He told God everything three times a day. When he was in trouble, he ran to God straight away. His enemy wanted him to stop talking to God. But then, Daniel knew he couldn't stop talking to God. God was his best friend and he wouldn't stop praying. His enemy didn't know that God was greater than all the lions. And God protected Daniel. Do you know God wants you to talk to him all the time? To find him first in everything you do. It is Matthew 6 verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. In Daniel's case, it was protection from the lions. In your case, maybe your studies or when you face trouble with anything. How to do? This works so hard. God, I pray that you give me wisdom to finish this homework. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hmm. Oh. God is always with you, just like He was with Daniel. When God is with us, we will be a great leader, just like Daniel and all the superheroes in the Bible. You are a superhero too, because of Jesus! Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love and your protection. Thank you that you are always there to help us and guide us. I pray that you will continue to give us courage to do the right thing your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. 
Chill in the fridge for two hours. Let's go. After chill for 20 minutes, let's bake! It's decorating time! I'm gonna do the bunnies. the Christmas tree and then glue the Christmas tree on your paper. When it's all dark in colour, then you can place the other side of the Christmas tree. Then you must stick it like this. Then you take one of your pencil then then you draw a Christmas star. Then you draw some ball balls then you change the color to blue then you take another color of the christmas the green coloring pencil Then after that, you color this thing, edge of the, the branch. Then you write Merry Christmas on your card. How to write Merry Christmas? Ask Mommy to write for you. M E R R Y X M A S Then write a heart and your name, then they know who is it from. You can decorate it with some glitter, but be careful, glitter is very hard to wash out. Remember to wash your hands after you do the glitter. Bye, champs! Until next week! Bye! Bye bye kids! See you next week for another fun time together!